Hello, I'm Jared Christensen. I'm the Battery Electric Vehicle Specialist within the Tech Technical Services Group. Today we are looking at how to test a CAN system using the RCS breakout box. In order to do this, we are going to plug the RCS test box in series with any of our CAN system lines. In this case, I am plugged into the X19 port on the D231 module. For testing, we're going to use the negative lead on our fluke multimeter is going to go in pin 3. Our positive lead for can high is going to go in port 4, showing 2.7 volts DC. On our can low, we're going to test on pin 5, showing 2.5 volts DC, showing that we have a correctly functioning can system. Using the RCS test breakout box, we can also test the resistance in the CAN system to ensure that it is configured correctly. A correctly configured system is going to show between pins 4 and pins 5 on the RCS breakout box. Reading ohms of resistance, a correctly configured system should show somewhere in the 60 ohm range while an incorrectly or faulty system will show 122 ohms of resistance. This test is also performed with the RCS switched off. For more information on this, please refer to your local Epidoc service center or dealer.